Gemma Aitchison, who founded Yes Matters UK in 2013 after her sister Sasha Marsden was brutally murdered in Blackpool at just 16 years of age. Yes Matters UK, this organisation, has since won multiple awards. The team have contributed to compulsory curriculum in schools and the sex, uh, child sexual exploitation prevention government policy. Gemma, thank you so much for joining us. Um, obviously a very difficult time, a very harrowing uh, case, this case of Sarah Everard. What do you make of all this and what do you think is the fitting punishment for people who commit this kind of thing? Um, reading the impact statements yesterday, they were heartbreakingly um, relatable for myself personally. Um, but I think the issue the issue that we have is whenever we talk about Sarah Everard or another girl, whether it be my sister or the many other women and girls that have been killed, we get this sea of the not all men. And I think what we really need to do is to recognise that say not all men, instead of addressing the issue, the fact that perpetrators of men, women and children are in the majority men, we need to look at that so we can ask ourselves why. Let's prevent that because it's it's not good for our boys or for our girls to continue to ignore the actual issue instead of adding to this list of safety things women and girls are supposed to do. I mean, what could we do now? Tell women and girls not to comply with police? That That's not going to work, is it? So I think we need to look at the actual issue and let's look at why does this happen? Let's address it. Let's prevent it. Let's change things. That's what I think we need to do. Yeah, and it's, it's interesting you say that because actually I've been thinking about this over the last few days and this case would make me very much more likely to refuse to sort of be apprehended. Not that I hopefully would ever be in that position, but even if it was a legitimate, I'd be quite scared to be apprehended by a male police officer for this reason. And it's sad, but that's the reality of it. But you mentioned there we need to be dealing with the actual uh, issue. And how would you characterise what the key issue is here? Um, without a doubt, it's gender stereotypes. We tell boys that to be a, a man is to be dominant, in control. We see how men are represented in media, in pornography especially, um, and tell them they're supposed to emulate that. And not only does that mean that they go on to commit the majority of crime, but it also contributes to things like high suicide rates in men because they think that it's weak to ask for help, it's weak to have emotions. So if we abolish gender stereotypes, then that can, you know, really contribute to getting rid of this whole issue. But we can't we can't solve a problem we refuse to acknowledge is there. And by saying not all men, what you're saying is that men's feelings matter more than women's lives, and that is essentially part of the problem in the first place.